My name is Stephen G. Wells. I'm a senior 3D artist. In this little tips and tricks tutorial, we're going to take a look at the UV texture editor in Maya. We're going to be using this little model here. It's a fantasy shield. It's got a little fun demon head on it. Uh, there's no lighting or anything in this scene. This is all hand painted. Uh, this actually was done for a class I think I was doing for hand painted textures. So there's no fun shaders on it, but it still I think it looks pretty good and will work for what we need. Let's go ahead and take a look at the texture editor itself. This is the Maya interface. Now there's a couple different ways to get to the UV texture editor in Maya. One of them is to create a shortcut which I have. I have my own little custom shelf. I have my little shortcut right there. That's the UV texture editor. So kind of comes up big. Let me zoom it down a little bit. There we go. That's the UV texture editor. All right. Or you can go to window and just scroll down to UV texture editor. There you go. Now this is the one to one UV texture space. Obviously nothing's showing right now because we don't have anything selected. We have to be able to select something first. So I'll just, I'm going to keep the, the model itself in the left hand side so you can see what it's going to look like. Let's go ahead and select it. And as you can see, there's the UVs right there. All right. You can see it's a low poly mesh, but I think it works for what we need. Now the thing about the UV texture editor in Maya is you can't select anything. I'm trying to select stuff. There's nothing to select. Maya doesn't understand that even though you're in the UV texture editor, it doesn't understand that you're actually going to be messing around with the UVs. You actually have to tell it you're going to be messing with the UVs. In order to do that, you have to right click and you have edges, vertices, faces, and as you can see right here, UVs. Okay, we want to make sure we select the UVs. If we're selecting anything else, for instance, let's grab the edges. I grab those, or the, the, the uh, I'm sorry, the, yeah, I was on the edges. Let's go to vertices, actually. Go to vertexes, hit W, and let's go ahead and try and move this around a little bit. You really can't do anything with it. You can move the model over here by grabbing it, but the point is, is you can't do that within this texture editor. You also don't want to. You have to be careful when you're working because this is ready. This is assuming you want to actually muck around with the UV, the actual geometry of the model and you don't want to do that. So the only thing you want to do when you're in the texture editor in Maya is when you right click go to UVs. UVs only. Now if I select vertices you'll see they turn green and I actually have the capability to move the UVs around. You can see it actually affect on the model. Let me zoom in a little bit. And you can watch how that affects it on the model itself. Okay, you will get you. You'll know you're in the UVs when when you select vertices because you'll get the move tool. By the way, to to move and pan around and everything, it's the same controls outside in the regular viewport in Maya. In other words, I can hold my Alt and I can right mouse. I can zoom in and zoom out. Middle mouse Alt is panning around. Now here's the difference. Left Alt is still just panning around. We have no three-dimensional view here. Three-dimensional view is only for our viewport. But we can still zoom in and zoom out as we need to, or pan around as we need to. All right. And the, the really nice thing is whatever we can do over here for moving vertices, it's the same controls here. If you want to, uh, the same shortcuts. So I can actually move just, you know, using the, uh, in the Y, in, which is the green, I can move in just the X or of course I can kind of grab in the, off to one center and I can just rotate it around as I need to very simple the really nice thing is I can then grab that I can also hit E to rotate so I can actually rotate these vertices around okay I can also hit R to scale those vertices I can squeeze them in blow them up whatever the same controls for moving, rotating, and scaling in our viewport, our 3D viewport, are the same controls within the 2D UV editor in Maya. Now if I wanted to grab the vertices of just the face, 
In order to do that, I can do one of two different ways. I can just rope an area and grab all the vertices. But now I have to zoom in. I have to hold my control key down and I have to deselect these vertices here. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. And let's hold my control key, deselect these. Oops, I deselected one I want to keep. That's okay, I just hold my shift and I can add that right back in. All right, now that I've got all of the UVs for just the face, I can hit W to move it. And again, I can move it and do whatever I want with it. Now it works perfectly. But that's kind of kind of counterproductive. To have to zoom in and, and have to deselect vertices and, and reselect vertices and things like that, it, it's time consuming. One of the nice features in the texture editor is I can grab a single vertice and I can go up here to select and I can grab select shell. That grabs the whole thing at once. Nice and easy. Very quick, very simple. Do the same thing over here. I can grab just a few select shell there we go okay it's a great little feature uh, it's very quick to be able to grab uh, the shell or the islands these are uh, the UV islands in Maya of course they call them shells but same difference it's pretty much every other program there are UV islands it's the same thing now you have a few functionalities up here a uh, few functions Let's go ahead and grab the face, for instance. We're going to select and go to Select Shell. Now here you can see we can rotate our UVs. There you go. You can rotate them again. You can back rotate them. Right. Uh, the couple different things up here. You just have to hold your mouse over. If you hold your mouse over, you can see which one is got. One is select uh, flipping the vertices in the U and one selecting them in the uh, flipping them in the V. So if you do that, it's basically inverting them. You can re redo it and they realign just fine. Uh, there's a bunch of different little controls in here. You can weld vertices, you can weld edges, and things like that. You can also turn off if you get tired of seeing your texture. You know, if it's hard to see something, you can click that little icon here to see the little face there. You can actually then have the UV space without your texture in it. By the way, again, this is the one-to-one -one UV space. This is what we want to make sure our textures always are within our, this particular border. Okay. We can also go for this. This does a black and white version. All right. Or we go back to color. Fun little uh, texture editor. Different things you can do in it. The main features, however, of course, are going to be just moving vertices. And again, you can move vertices as you need to. If you needed to fix certain vertices, you can just grab them. You can hold your Shift key down. I'm just going to add in the selection holding my Shift. Just grab some vertices, and now I can just move them. So it's great for moving just vertices as you need to. Or again, select, select Shell, and you have the whole kit and caboodle right there. All right? Very quick introduction, but that's the basics for the UV ed texture editor in Maya. My name is Stephen Jewels, and this has been 3dmotive.com. Thanks very much for watching.